the rhythm, the rebel. Without a pause, I'm lowering my level. The hard drama, where you never been, I'm in. Do you want styling? You know it's time to get deep. The enemy If you are under 40, you have never seen this market climate before, and the street.com is here to tell you that this too shall pass. Now, Farnoosh, things are bad, right? And people are panicking, but it's gonna be okay. Absolutely. What are some tips of how to survive? Well, not just survive, Alex, but thrive. That's the key word here. You gotta realize that we go through these down periods all the time. Arguably, this is one of the worst, okay? And I'm not gonna lie about that. But think about it like this. Whenever things go down, they go up again, and, and more up than ever before. So take this opportunity now to realize what you need to do to stay safe, and stay smart. First tip, make sure that you are insured. A lot of Americans, actually, this demographic, one of the most uninsured demographics in the country. Health insurance. Health insurance. So you wanna make sure you have health insurance and disability insurance. Jim Cramer and I just spoke about this earlier this morning. He pointed this out to me, said it was more important than saving for your retirement right now because disability and lack of health, poor health, leads to bankruptcy. People who can't work, you can't make a income, you go bankrupt. So. You know, it's important to make sure you have health insurance. I talk about on Main Street ways to get alternative health insurance. Check out Main Street for more tips on how to get insurance if your employer is not able to provide enough for you. What are some key things that viewers need to know about the housing market to yeah. get smart and survive? You know, that's one of the biggest questions I get from, from readers and viewers is, Farnoosh, what do I do with this housing market? My neighbor's house has lost about 50% of its value. What does that mean for my house? Furthermore, all these foreclosures, maybe it's an opportunity to go out there and buy. So I just tell people, you know what? Be reserved. Educate well, yourself about the market. Talk to good realtors. Track home prices. Make sure you understand what's happening in your neighborhood. Uh, go to your bank and talk about, you know, how much is my house appraised for at this point in time. Don't fall behind the curve. Know exactly what kind of a real estate market you're in. Absolutely, there are opportunities now, but the good news is there will be more opportunities next year, okay? And it's really hard to get a loan right now. So the three things you need to be in favor of banks is good credit, a credit score of 70, 740 or better, uh, a spotless credit report, make sure that you're paying your bills on time, and cash. Make sure that if you're not going into the housing market right now, that you're doing as much as you can to save. You're gonna need at least 20% down for your next house at least. Banks are not you know, cutting back on their lending standards. You have to be ready for when you wanna buy. And there are opportunities out there, but if you're more prepared, there are more opportunities. Great, thanks so much, Varnoosh. So Varnoosh is the author of Your So Money, which also has some really great tips. And for a full list of how to survive and thrive in this market, go to MainStreet.com.